what's the difference between math and physics to you? To me, you know, very, very roughly, math is about the logical structure of all possible worlds and physics is about our actual world. And it just feels like our actual world is a gray area when you start talking about interpretations of quantum mechanics or no. I'm certainly using the word world in the broadest sense, all of reality. So um, I think that reality is specific. I don't think that it, there's every possible thing going on in reality. I think that there are rules, whether it's the Schrodinger equation or whatever. So I think, uh, I think that there's a sensible notion of the set of all possible worlds, and we live in one of them. The world that we're talking about might be a multiverse, might be many worlds of quantum mechanics, might be much bigger than the world of our everyday experience, but it's still one physically contiguous world in some sense. But so if you look at the overlap of math and physics, it feels like when physics tries to reach for understanding of our world, it uses the tools of math to sort of reach beyond the limit of our current understanding. What do you make of that process of sort of using math to, uh, so you start maybe with intuition or you might start with the math and then build up an intuition or, but this kind of reaching into the darkness, into the mystery of the world with math. Well, I think I would put it a little bit differently. I think we, we, we have theories, theories of the physical world, which we then extrapolate and ask, you know, what do we conclude if we take these seriously well beyond where we've actually tested them? It is separately true that math is really, really useful when we construct physical theories. And, you know, famously, Eugene Wigner asked about the unreasonable success of mathematics and physics. I think that's a, a little bit wrong because anything that could happen any other theory of physics that wasn't the real world, but some other world, you could always describe it mathematically. It's just that it might be a mess. <laughs> the surprising thing is not that math works, but that the math is so simple and easy that you can write it down on a t-shirt, right? I mean, that's what is amazing. That's an enormous compression of information that seems to be valid in, in the real world. So that's an interesting fact about our world, which maybe we could hope to explain or just take as a, a brute fact. I don't know. But uh, once you have that, you know, it, it, there's this the indelible relationship between math and physics. But but philosophically, I do want to separate them. What we, what we extrapolate, we don't extrapolate math because there's a whole bunch of wrong math you know, that doesn't apply to our world, right? We extrapolate the physical theory that we best think explains our world. 